Hi guys, so day two, you're going to start your good project. Hopefully you brought back your planning sheet. The big thing is that it has your name on it because at the end you're going to fold this up and put it in your baggie and you're going to have your name showing on the outside of your baggie. So make sure you have your planning sheet. Your teacher will pass around to you your two main colors of clay, but before that you get started with that, I'm going to show you how to some texture to your projects. So to add some texture, um, what you're going to get is you can use some things that are already in your kits, like your markers or a pencil. I'm going to show you some real quick textures that you can make and add to your animals. So the first is pretty simple. Just rolling out a flat piece so that you can kind of see. And that is with our pencil. And with the tip of the pencil, you can use what we call stippling. And you don't want to go all the way through your clay. You notice how I'm just like kind of lightly doing it. Um, that's one way to add some texture. That's just little dots, what we call stippling. You can add thicker or thinner. And it's pretty cool. And this is the stuff you're going to add at the very, very end. Because as you can see, if I would add this at the beginning and then I would go to try to mold my picture or my, my thing, it would kind of mess up your texture. But I'm just showing you this just so you know how to do it. So you can do that with your pencil. And the other side is your eraser. You can make some thicker dots. Or with the pencil, you also have a cool texture with just that. Just the way things feel. Another handy dandy thing would be if you have any nails, you can add texture with your nails. It's like almost like a lined texture. Or this wonderful marker cap. You can roll it and create texture that way. So there's all kinds of different resources that you can use towards the end of your project to add those finishing touches. I like that that looks like little paw prints. You just push in with your marker. Um, to add a little bit more flair than just a plain sphere or something like that, especially if your animal or your sculpture has hair or anything that looks like it feels a certain way. After you're done, like I said, with your big main thing, like you have all your eyes on and everything. And if you wanna add some, texture around it, it would be kind of cool. So that's just one final thing that you can add to your awesome clay sculpture. Remember, you don't have to finish it this week. We have next week to work on it as well. Um, at the end of class, you're gonna get a little Ziploc bag to store your clay in. You're gonna put your clay in there. And then you're gonna also put that practice sheet, planning sheet folded that your name shows and put that in your baggie as well. You're gonna pull it twice. Um, but that way, next week when we hand these out for our final day of clay making, you'll have everything there. And remember, if you don't like this, the best part, or if you mess up today, the best part about this clay is that it never dries out, especially if you keep it in the Ziploc bag. And you can always make another sculpture. You can make several sculptures, you know, throughout this class period. But you're only going to get those two main colors, remember, and then the detail colors. So, but yeah, you can always reuse it. You can always just play with it and practice different things. It's kind of fun to just make textures. So enjoy your create day. Take the full time to just make your creation. And remember, if you finish it this week, that's okay. You can either make another one next week out of your same piece, or you can sharpen the saw and free draw some other ideas for clay creations. So. Enjoy your day, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.